Welcome to today's video. I'm the Hooded Lid and today I am going to do a dupe video. When I did the Lisa Eldridge video a couple of weeks ago, I said if you want me to do dupes let me know and several of you said yes. But I thought better of it because I have so much respect for Lisa. She's a professional makeup artist, you know. She does videos. She does them on herself. She does them on models. She does runway. She does editorial. She does actresses, celebrities. She does red carpet. She probably does commercials. She's written a book and she's doing a documentary right now. She's an accomplished makeup artist and this line is completely her own. It's self-funded. I just feel like I have so much respect for her and she seems like an honest, sincere, lovely person. I would love to have a personality that I didn't want to do a dupe video and take away from her because her lipsticks are beautifully packaged. They're a very good price. They're in the YSL Dior area. I can't say, I don't remember what the American conversion was and it changes all the time. But it's, I think it's between like $34, $36, which I don't think is that bad. The shipping is free and it doesn't take a long time. I'm pretty sure she has a place in the, this country, the United States, where she ships from and she takes returns. So there's no reason not to buy from her. And I decided when I see she's out of stock of something, I'll do dupe videos on that. And that has happened. And the only reason I'm doing that is because unless I misheard it, hello people on the street, unless I misheard it, my impression is she's only going to restock once a year. So these things that are out of stock won't be back until next fall. And that way I thought, it might be helpful to you if you miss these things. These aren't necessarily things that are less expensive. In fact, one is more expensive, but they're very, very similar, although not exact. I'm going to do half of both my lips with a Lisa color and half with the dupe color, and you can get an idea for yourself. I figure that's better than doing upper and lower because my lower is quite a bit bigger <laughs> than my upper, and it's just probably not going to look right. So first up, Velvet Dragon and MAC Chili. Now these are not exactly the same. Velvet Dragon is a very unique color as far as I can tell. I will say that I did not look to buy something. I didn't take her lipsticks into a store and look around and I didn't do a drugstore, which drugstore has so much, it, I, it makes me nuts. Uh, but I want to show you what they look like. This is Velvet Dragon. And this is Mac Chili. On the lips, they don't look incredibly dissimilar, but they evoke a completely different mood because this does have much more warmth than the Chili does. But of the lipsticks that I have, this is the closest I have to Velvet Dragon. Velvet Affair. Velvet Affair is a new one from this season, as is Velvet Dragon. And there she is right here. And I think Sammy from Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude, is similar. I think Sammy's, the undertone is different. Here's the Sammy. But not incredibly different. I think there's more warmth in the Lisa Eldridge. Let's start with Sammy. Velvet Affair and Sammy. And I do think the Sammy is quite a bit cooler. And it makes all the difference in the world. Again, these aren't exact dupes. These are similar things that I have in my collection. And I do feel like that's a big difference. It's the smallest little thing. And there again. You know, I do remember in one of Lisa's videos, she spoke about how she worked so hard to get just the right undertone on things so you don't look dead. And I do think in the case, between Sammy and Affair, that little bit of undertone makes all the difference. But if you like something that's a little more on the grungy side than Sammy. Velvet Blush. I love this color on my lips. It feels like it's a your lips but better, but even better than better. And for that, I was thinking Dior Hypnotic. Now this is the Hypnotic and it's much more mauve this has much more rose in it than Lisa Eldridge. 
um, but again, you guys, I said, these weren't going to be exact matches. And I think what I really like about the blush is that roseness because I'm, I'm kind of tired of the movies. Velvet blush. Wow, they're so, so different. Yeah, this, I, this is the closest thing that I have. That's how unique this is. You know, I might keep on looking. I selected these colors ages ago when I said, okay, I'll go ahead and do a dupe video. And then I thought better of it. And I've just been watching to see what goes out of stock. And, and I thought I would do this, but this is so much color. On the other hand, this is too much color for you. This is hypnotic and this is blush. And the blush is new for this year. Now the last one is Velvet Fawn, and Velvet Fawn came out last year. And it was very popular, it sold out again. And this is Velvet Fawn. I don't have anything exactly like it, but I have a couple of things that might be close. So this is much more expensive. This is an Hermes and it's limited edition. And there she is. It's a little bit lighter in tone. It's much more pink. Where Fawn is supposed to be uh, more of a brownish tone. This is super old, you guys. This is Burt's Bees. It's got lumps and bumps. It looks like a Jaclyn Hill. I would not put this on my lips, but I wanted to swatch for you. And there it is right here. So this is Fawn. This is Ombre, Rose Ombre from Hermes. And this is Suede Splash from Burt's Bees. And to me, They're kind of similar. And this is Becca Dusk. This is the nude where I finally felt like I found a nude I can wear. And that is right here. The Dusk is probably the closest. Okay, Dusk. Fawn. To me, the fawn seems to have a little bit more pink in it than the dusk. And this is a matte, this is not. I would say actually that the fawn is a little bit lighter than the dusk and could have a little bit more pink in it. But it's a really lovely nude. So you guys, that is going to be it. I know that I don't have anything that's an exact match. I have some things that are kind of close. I really have nothing like this blush color. Maybe that's why I really loved it when I first put it on, but the things that I looked through just weren't quite it. They were either more pink than this or less pink, and I thought this one wasn't bad, but it is absolutely more of a mauve tone to this rose tone that's so, so pretty. Not an exact match here. I'd say the closest thing I have going is this one, which is Affair and Sammy from Natasha Denona. But one is, the Affair is a little bit warmer than the Denona. And hold these ideas right here for the fawn. And I think probably the Dusk is the closest to the fawn. But the undertones are different on all of these. It's just the best I can do with what I already own. And I guess it kind of shows why her lipsticks are so unique. There's nothing quite like them. And look, this is not exhaustive. This is just everything I own. Maybe there is something like them somewhere at a drugstore or somewhere at a Sephora or somewhere at a Bergdorf's. I don't know. It's possible. This is just what I have. And uh, yeah, I hope it might have been helpful to you. And I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe, be smart, and I'm wishing you good health.